Hey, old guy Woody here. I'm going to talk a little bit about rust electricity. More specifically, this particular circuit, which is fairly common if you search for day-night power, constant power, or whatever. Basically, I have a couple of solar panels going into a root combiner. I've got a switch here so I can control it, but into a splitter. Half the splitter goes into this OR gate. The other half goes into powering this battery which has a blocker that keeps that allows the discharge to work. Now you can see this works fine. I've got 26 power coming in, 11 power coming out. I've got a counter. You can light up three lights. There is, however, a couple of fairly big problems with this setup. Um, for one, at nighttime we're only ever going to get eight power. So the battery's got 10, the blocker takes one, the OR gate takes one, which leaves us with eight, which means with this not very well thought out set up here I can only get two lights so it doesn't really matter if during the daytime I have all this extra power because I can't reliably have electricity for everything another problem occurs at dusk and dawn I'll go ahead and simulate that right now um, now we only have four power coming through we can only do one light um, that's because there's still a little bit of power coming out of this branch, so it's not enough to trigger this thing to shut off. Luckily, there is an easy solution to both problems, and that is to get rid of this splitter and replace it with an electrical branch. Now, these electrical branches, I'm going to set this to 9, and that will give us 9 power out into the OR gate, which will then give us a constant 8. Um, something interesting about these, all of if you set this to 9, all of the power will go here before any power goes over here. It doesn't split it evenly. Whatever you configure this for, all the power is going to go over there. So now we're going to hook this thing back up again. We want the 9 power to go into the OR gate. And we want all the excess power to go into powering our battery and that circuit. So now we've got our battery charging again. Um, actually, because it's nighttime, let me switch it back to day again. Now it's daytime again. You see we still have eight power. It doesn't matter if we're going off the battery or if we're going off the solar power, it's always going to be eight. We have all the extra power we had before charging the battery even faster. And now that we know exactly how much power we're always going to have, we can clean up this mess and actually make it kind of useful. So I'm going to do that really quick. Alrighty, there we have it. So now that we know we have a constant power of 8, we can set up our network so we can have 5 active things going at the same time. Doesn't matter if it's day or night, it's always going to work. And that is how you do it.